Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss about the meaning of conditional probability of event A given event B as probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event B and we shall interpret independence of events A and B as Probability of event A given event B is equal to probability of event A and probability of event B given event A is equal to probability of event B. Let us now discuss conditional probability. Conditional probability is the probability that event B occurs given that event A has already occurred for example in a class of 25 students, 14 like mango, 12 like orange, 6 like both fruits and 5 dislike both fruits. Here we have represented this situation in the form of this Venn diagram. Here set A represents students who like mango and set B represent students who like orange C Eight students like only mango, six like only orange and six like both mango and orange. So number of students who like mango will be equal to eight plus six that is fourteen and number of students who like orange will be equal to 6 plus 6 that is 12. Suppose a student is selected at random. We have to find the probability that the student selected likes mango given he also likes orange. Here we are given a condition for selecting the student that he already likes orange. Now we have to find the probability that he likes mango. It means according to the condition we must select the students from the students who like orange. So here total number of outcomes will be equal to number of students who like orange that is equal to the set B and the number of elements in set B is 12. Favorable outcomes will be equal to number of students who like both mango and orange and it is given by set A intersection set B and from this Venn diagram we can see that A intersection B is 6. So number of favorable outcomes will be 6. Let us now calculate the probability. We define event A as student likes mango and event B as student likes orange. And we have to find the probability that 
Student likes mango. Given, he likes orange. We can write it as probability of occurrence of event A given event B which is given by favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. We know that total number of outcomes is given by 12 and number of favorable outcomes is given as 6. Probability of occurrence of event A given event B is equal to favorable outcomes that is given by 6 upon total number of outcomes that is 12. So we have the probability as 1 upon 2 or it is also given by 0 0.5. Now see that probability of event A intersection B is given by favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. So here number of favorable outcomes to event A intersection B is given by 6. So here we have 6 upon total number of outcomes and we can see that here total number of outcomes is given by Six plus six plus eight plus five, which is equal to twenty five. So here we have twenty five. So probability of event A intersection B is given by six upon twenty five. Similarly, probability of event B is given by number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. And here, number of favorable outcomes to event B is given by 6 plus 6, that is 12, upon total number of outcomes, that is given by 25. So, we have probability of event B as 12 upon 25. Similarly, probability of event A is given by number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. And here, number of favorable outcomes to event A will be equal to 6 plus 8, that is 14, upon total number of outcomes, that is 25. So, probability of event A is 14 upon 25. So, probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event B is equal to 6 upon 25 whole upon 12 upon 25 and this is equal to 6 upon 12 that is 1 upon 2 or we can write it as 0 0.5. So here we see that probability of occurrence of event A given event B is equal to 1 by 2 also probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event B is equal to 1 by 2. Thus we can say formula for conditional probability is given by probability of occurrence of event A given event B is equal to Probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event B where probability of event B is greater than 0. Similarly, probability of occurrence of event B given event A is equal to probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event A where Probability of event A is greater than 0. From the above example, we can also find probability of occurrence of event B given event A. So here, probability of occurrence of event B given event A is equal to the probability that the student likes orange. 
given that he likes mango and this would be equal to probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event A and we know that probability of event A intersection B is 6 upon 25 and probability of event A is 14 upon 25. So here we have 6 upon 25 whole upon 14 upon 25 and this is equal to 6 upon 14 that is 2 into 3 is 6 and 2 into 7 is 14. So we have 3 upon 7. So we say that Probability of occurrence of event B given event A is given by 3 upon 7. Now we are going to discuss conditional probability and independent events. We know that A and B are independent events. If the occurrence of each of them does not affect the probability that the other occurs, we have also seen in our earlier sessions that two events, say A and B, are independent then Probability of event A intersection B is equal to probability of event A into probability of event B. Now let A and B be two independent events. Then probability of Occurrence of event A given event B is equal to probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event B. Since A and B are independent events, then using the result of independent events, we write probability of event A intersection B as probability of event A into probability of event B whole upon probability of event B and this is equal to probability of event A. Thus we get if A and B are independent events then conditional probability of event A given event B is equal to the probability of event A. Similarly, probability of occurrence of event B given event A is equal to probability of event B. Here also we can say that if A and B are two independent events, then conditional probability of event B given event A is equal to the probability of event B. Let us consider an example. Find whether event E that is drawing a club from a deck of 52 cards and event F that is rolling a 4 on a single die are independent or not. We are given two events E and F and we need to find whether these two events are independent or not. Now event E is drawing a club from a deck of 52 cards and we know that in the deck of 52 cards there are 13 club cards. Event F is Rolling a 4 on a single die and we know that when we throw a die the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 
Now, if we consider conditional probability of event E given event F has already occurred, then the result of rolling a die will not affect the probability of drawing a club. Therefore, probability of occurrence of event E given event F is equal to probability of event E. Similarly, if we consider conditional probability of event F given event E has already occurred, the result of drawing a club will not affect the probability of rolling a die. Therefore, probability of occurrence of event F given event E is equal to probability of event F. Thus, we say that the two events are independent Thus in this session we have discussed conditional probability and conditional probability with respect to independence of two events. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.